So we're out in forest, Bongo Rainforest. Yep, Abidjan, and we're in Bongo Rainforest. Today we're back in Africa, my favorite country, Cote d'Ivoire. Today we will be exploring the pristine wilderness of Banco Rainforest, right in the heart of Abidjan. We will trek the exotic landscape, examine foreign fruits, and take a peek at some of the indigenous wildlife. We're going to have some fun and crack some jokes with our guy Didi, who's going to tell us all about our life while also testing our endurance. We out here. <laughs> That boy Mike, a real Ivorian, real Ivorian. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Je m'appelle? What is it? Dizzy. Nice to meet you, Dizzy. You're our tour guide? Yeah. You're going to be, you're going to be our you're tour guide? Okay. So what are we going to see today? Are we supposed to see gorillas or something? No, we're not seeing I seen a gorilla, a silverback. Are there any silverbacks on trail? On, on Google, I seen a silverback. I don't think there's any gorilla. Exactly. This is where the oxygen and greenery and Abidjan <laughs> is. And we say that because Abidjan, I'm not going to say it's dusty. <laughs> That's, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Just you know, <laughs> you know how Mumbai has, um, Mumbai has got, you know, some pollution. So I would say we got a little pollution in Abidjan, but it's also a beautiful city. So it is. I'm not trying it to is. talk no, no stuff. Just trying to, you know. She's basically saying that the name of the park comes from the river, like in the middle of the park. Uh huh. Like the name is Bango. Is that how you say Bango? Bango. Yeah, whatever she said. Uh -huh. <laughs> whatever she said. Bongo. Hey, she a true Ivorian, bro. <laughs> Trivorian? No, I said she a true Ivorian. Yeah, no, yeah, no. You facts, know what I'm saying? Facts. Are we gonna see that river? Yeah. And she said, she said we not, we not gonna be at the river, but we gonna be on like on the bridge on top of it. Uh -huh. But it's like in the middle of the park, but we we gonna see it. Oh, bambo, bambo, bambo. Place high. I don't know how them boys wearing jeans. Jeans. Nope. Nope. Way too high for some jeans. Look at these trees. Look at these leaves. Look at these trees. She said they build houses with this. With these leaves. This right here is what you would call school of the forest. Now I asked, are there children of the forest? And they said no. So I don't know who go there. House of the Forest? Yeah. It's a natural pool over here somewhere. So we're gonna have to go to the hat. Just finished our two mile hike. And now we're getting some water. What? Are you buying the water? I'm buying the water. You fine. These wafers, I might have to top me something. And when I say I might have to buy something, Mike might have to buy me something. <laughs> Only because I got my Franks in the car. Ooh. Sandwich biscuit with banana cream. I've never had no sandwich biscuit with a banana cream. I think I'm gonna do this with everything. Is this like halfway or are we there? He demands she said la moitié du chemin. She said we're in the middle of the park. Okay, we only went halfway? My damn. That's crazy how good that is. Come back to water. Mm -hmm. What's the other, uh, is there another attraction she was saying? Or this was the one? Is it not sprouted yet? She said, no, there's no fruits right now. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, it's not fresh right now. It's not fresh, yeah. but it can't harm me if I eat it. He will. It will harm you. I want to say he becomes beat. No, don't don't bite it. So what she's explaining to you guys right now is that people actually do live in that. See, in America, we would look at that home and we would think that is something called abando, which stands for abandoned. 
But what I can tell you now is that home is actually occupied. Does it have utilities? You don't want to see your cool home to start over. No. She said no. No utilities. <laughs> this is crazy. And we hooped yesterday. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic, with this logic you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic I'm Go. to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to be I'm on it, I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic, got me going off when I'm on this topic yeah, If I ever play, I want it, you know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic, keep them out your face, no way you don't want it yeah. Don't try to drain my energy, the enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily, spreading like a rare disease But I won't let it get to me, I don't need your therapy I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity Come on, we can fight this, freedom is Spread just like a virus, living in a crisis Come with me So what we're about to do here is some type of high ropes course I don't really know exactly what it is As you can see, there are no safety guidelines There's no harness There's no safety But young DMAR about to do it anyway I would love to elaborate on that experience. Let me tell you, absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. What's this? Uh, Apple? You want? You don't want to try it, much. Yes. So, this is a traditional Cote d'Ivoire Abidjan chair. This shit is a two by four. Bro, that's perfect. So it aligns your spine. <laughs> if the sense. spine is aligned, you're fine. <laughs> so this is Diddy. She's 26. She's Ivorian. She's studying at the University of Abidjan and her major is tourism. That's dope, ain't it? My question for you is, how is life in Abidjan? Yeah. Do you enjoy it? That's where she was born, so mm -hmm. obviously she loved it. But obviously there's things that, you know, she don't necessarily agree. Mm -hmm. And there's things that she don't really like. Like, mm -hmm. you know, there's financial difficulties. There's like, you know, like access to like the best school. She, she can't really get that. There's like, um, there's not a lot of opportunity out here, but mm -hmm. you know, other than that, like, you know, she loves it. If you had, you know, possibility to change anything in Abidjan, what would that be? Just the opportunity for people that just graduated out of university and stuff mm -hmm. like that, because she feels like, there's a lot of people, and I can agree with that, a lot of people with diplomas, like a bunch of them, like mm -hmm. masters, and you know, I go to school for a long time, but you know, there's no job. Right. There's no job, like, unless you know somebody, uh -huh. or like, you know, you're the son of somebody, or right. you know, basically nepotism. I definitely understand that. Definitely understand that. Um, do you have aspirations of leaving Abidjan, or do you feel like, the path you've taken right now is going to get you to the point where you're actually able to make some of these changes that you just spoke about. Because of the lack of like school, like what you really want to do, mm -hmm. like the schools that I hear, like they're really expensive. Right. But, like the one that are affordable, they don't specialize in what she want to do. Mm -hmm. And because she also studied, like she she also studies like tourism. Right. 
she feels like she want to go outside, like, mm -hmm. you know, learn a lot of things. But the main thing is, like, you know, to go outside, right. learn, and then come back and implement that knowledge that right. she get from outside here. Mm -hmm. So all that she do is just put in the hands of God, like, you know, whatever God wants, that's what she's going to do. I love to hear that. Truly love to hear that. Um, so another thing that I wanted to ask you was, what's your home life like? Do you have um, kids, family, husband? Uh, do you stay in a, a family-oriented situation? Or are you staying alone? She basically saying she a baby mama. She, okay, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. And she, she, she live with her parents, so she has okay. a daughter, five. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So she, really cool. She, ain't, she ain't trying to get in details. Yeah, her. we ain't got to talk too deep. I got one more question. As a woman from Abidjan Ivory Coast, and Cote d'Ivoire, excuse me. What are you guys, um, what is your opinion on African-American, African-American men and African-American women? It's a chance for her like, to get knowledge. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, she said other people might be like, oh, that's a that's a person for me, like, like, like I said, to get to America, mm -hmm. <laughs> stuff like uh, that. But mm -hmm. for her, it's just knowledge, learning something from outside. That's just mm -hmm. what she think about anybody from outside. Okay. 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 Oh, nice. Yeah, Oh, nice. This is a traditional African meal. <laughs> hey. Out here. Bro, these are real African villagers. What's up, bro? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Y'all really came to get us. Horrific. Corruption just happened to us. I thought I was going to jail. It was horrific.